Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for taking that time out for your self-care. Because right now, with us going through all these uh, coming towards June Ascension, we're going to really need it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, how, how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some dark times right now, need validation or conf confirmation towards the life path or their sole purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your so social media favors wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. And the uh, background meditation music I'm listening to, ouch, let me see, let me turn it up just a little bit more because it's very, very light sounding. Um, it's called Awakening, Connecting to Your Divine Self, Divine Sofigo, uh, Frequency, Quantum, Brainwave Drums. I really love this because I love Sofigo beats. It, it's, it's just really calming to me. And plus it has Buddha in the middle going like this with the lotus, with the lotus position. Um, y'all, I had to take off and give me some self-care. Uh, this video was supposed to be for Twin Flames, but all the things that I was finding out, this is like, I'm Twin Flame Hayoka. So I think a lot of, um, uh, us as Hayokas that are not dealing with Twin Flames are going through certain, certain things too. Because this one is called Twin Flame 101, Twin Flame and Hayoka experienced it, uh, was it twin flame Hayoka uh, ascension um when i looked all this stuff up yesterday because i was looking for um i thought it was just like my dad's essence around me because i was freezing cold there was no way i could get warm so i constantly had like chills running up and down me like you know uh like i had um uh epidural or whatever that is like when you put that medicine in your back when you you know get ready to have labor and it makes you shake really bad so i was like really shaking a lot that was spiritual shivers because all these different things were changing and transforming and even though the june ascension is not until the sixth shoot i'm feeling this mess already because they gave a list of everything that's going on y'all i had to write it down because it was a lot of stuff they went over and it was very articulated like you know let you know all the things you were going down going going through and it says um it's uh this is like pay attention to the full moon, the planetary retrograde, the metal, uh, geomet geometric solar storm. So we just went through two of those. It says instant fatigue, very irritable energy, angry, lonely, sad, frustrated, all the above. People in your, your circle are reacting differently like they're excited to be around you. Or some of them could be picking fights with you as well. And you're not... Um, you're, you know there it's like the change is different you can't keep your eyes open like you're constantly drained even though if you probably got seven eight hours of sleep you're drained like yesterday i swear up and down i thought i was catching something uh because it was like all the stuff i was listening to listening to you to the other day was the same amount but this is more you know um it's like even though if you get enough sleep it feels like you can't get your eyes open you can't uh things that you do on a routine uh every day is like is is becoming unbearable like you really don't have the need for doing it anymore uh, you stray away from things you love to do yes as you feel empty in your life without meaning and it's like your dna is getting reactivated we're shifting from the carbon base being to a uh, crystalline base being uh with the penal activation uh, to a new earth and new human so it's like we're reactivating ourselves to a brand new person that's why everything's starting to feel different um it says rebuild uh plant and insect animals as well as kingdoms uh they're taking on crystalline structure as well uh you will uh eventually will not have to have karmic based foods 
carbon-based bodies, you will be able to find different ways of nurturing your body other than food. That's what they're talking about along the path of light bodies with less, uh, with less need for physical food to sustain you. Your energy will become directly from source, light and love. And it says the list for common ascension signs that we should be feeling. You're feeling like a, a pressure cooker, intense energy of, or stressed. Uh, pressure inside of you can, uh, can feel great stress that you are on overload. Depression, anxiety, panic, panic and feeling of hysteria. Increased appetite like you have low blood sugar. I've had that, but mine is actually opposite. My um, I haven't really been eating a lot. I've been drinking a lot. Uh, it says usual aches and pains. Like if y'all see me there, sometimes I tell you my legs. Like I can sit. I used to be so comfortable at sitting in um the lotus position, but it's like lately, like if I'm pushing out so much energy, all of a sudden in between my hips it hurts really bad. Like they get really stiff. And it says unusual aches and pains throughout your body. Uh, uh. What is it? Continual neck and upper back stiffness and pain, skin eruptions. You know, I told y'all all this rash I'm getting, or they say even diarrhea. Haven't haven't got that, thank God. Uh, heart pain, palpitations. Like there's sometimes y'all hear me. I'm like, you know, I didn't know that was. You know, I thought it was my heart chakra needed to be lined up. Uh, lined up. Period of deep sleeping. Experienced emotional up and downs. Night sweats or hot flashes. Feeling cold with an inability to get warm. I was just telling y'all about that. Vivid or wild, sometimes violent dreams. Dizziness, imbalance, uh, uh, vertigo, spinning. Overall, body pain. Uh, daily extreme fatigue. Gritty, itchy eyes. Blurred vision. Yeah, my, my vision is getting blurred. Uh, memory loss, difficulty of assessing words uh memory loss extreme like there's sometimes they say you can't even remember what you did last like in the last couple of hours you're like dang what did i do and there's sometimes i do that i'm like i don't even smoke anymore why am i still going through situations like this you're feeling disconnected not knowing where you are uh loss of sense of place loss of identity feeling out of body experiences seeing or hearing things feeling you are becoming insane or must be uh, developing a mental illness of some sort, intolerance. You don't feel like doing anything, uh, a longing to go home, a longing to go home, or if everything is over, don't you don't belong here anymore. You know, um, I always say I'm ready to go home, but not go home. Uh, suddenly, uh, sudden changes of friends, activities, habits, jobs, and residence. You absolutely cannot uh, contain yourself anymore when you try to do your usual routine and activities. It feels downright awful. Waking up between 12 and 4 a.m., heightened sensitivity to your sur uh, surroundings. Humming and ringing in the ears. Remember, I just did a video about that the other day. Changing in sleep patterns, sleeping more than usual. Active uh, activity at the crowd of head tingling prickly crawling sensations of the scalp down to the spine hair raising sensation goosebumps yes i get those as well sudden waves of emotions crying at the drop of a hat old stuff uh seems to come up and get in closure with old relationships and friends i just had that as well with um uh, my daughter but those went well my my ex exes uh, with her and her kids, everything went fine. Um, and as long as with, uh, I was getting closure from my, my mom's ex-husband and his wife. And I got that twice in the last, like, it was like a three, four day period. Uh, changes in weight, changes in eating habits, food intolerance, and, uh, ampli ampli ugh. Never mind, I ain't even going to do that one. Overwhelmed sensitivity, noise and food and TV, people, uh, voices, hearing sensitivity, enhanced smell, touch and taste, skin eruptions, rashes, bumps, acne, hives, shingles, and I'm dealing with that. Anger, not, uh, anger can have it break out on your face. Episodes of intense energy, hyperactive. I was like that a few, few times this week. Uh, changes in prayer, meditation, power surges, hot flashes, cold flashes, physical uh, manifestation, headaches, back aches, neck pains, flu-like symptoms, vibrational flu. That's what that is. If you have anything that makes it sound like a flu uh, symptoms, I, I know my, my daughter, my middle daughter just went through that two weeks ago. Uh, digestive problems, muscles, muscle spasms, 
uh, irregular heartbeat, sexual desire, or, you know, increase. Uh, I told y'all about that the other day. Looking younger. I said, that's good. <laughs> that's a plus. Vivid dreams and e events that completely alter your death. Uh, that complete, uh, can alter your, your life. Is death, divorce, changes in job status, loss of home, illness, or all, all, altogether catastrophes. A desire to break free from your destructive pat patterns, life-changing, draining jobs, lifestyle, toxic people, or situations. And there's just so many more. Um, if I can find this this thing on here, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the link in case you want to, because there was a lot more than that. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> this is already 10 minutes right there, and I just t wrote all this stuff down. But yeah, I hate reading from a book, but if I know if I want to get very you know to the point I want to make sure I put everything down because I know if I try to remember it's not going to work that way so I usually don't read from a book like that unless it's something I really truly got to go through because it's just like I know a lot of my love bugs are going through some things where it feels off so it's like our body is recharging our DNA is changing like I told y'all all the energy that you have been recycling and all this stuff because you're manifesting so much that is starting to I already told y'all a couple of months ago y'all are bending you know portal jumping and doing the bending of dimensions now all of a sudden all this energy there's like a billion daggone empaths right now and they're with them awakening and veils coming off and the things that you're manifesting the things that you're practicing as well when it pertains to your gift it's like the energy that you are storing up is uh making a multiverse uh uh, and uh, omniverse it is just all these crazy things that are going on that is just really when I meditate I'm, I'm getting visions it's like my my gift is enhancing like I just uh, met a new love bug earlier like two days ago but I got to watch her video today and it was just like going through all that uh, was really crazy because it's like I'm feeling you know it's just like within your words or even if I watch videos along with other people I'm seeing the things that their energy is carrying what you know things are starting to fester up things are like you know uh, what is the word I'm trying to it's not it's mutating basically but not being a mutant like first thing I said when I'm mutating I'm thinking about the movie to fly but it's not something nasty like that but it's just like what you're going through this uh, shift from what the universe is allowing me to see you're becoming something that's very unique within yourself that uh things have been festering up throughout the the past lives but it's like the energy you're carrying from the past life and the stuff that you're waking up and knowing now is like is mutating into something that is very very rare so it's like all these different things you probably noticed like your gift is starting to enhance you're probably getting snippets of your past life the things that you have things that have occurred that made a big impact in your life and certain things and it's like some of it's like really like snippets or you've even seen snippets of your future life that what what is come what is coming towards you that you have also been manifesting as well so it's just like all these things that are happening in our life is like is, is it could be it can take you a bat and it's like something that's hard to process because it's just like you know I love to be able to share these things with you because I don't want you to feel like you're going crazy or you know there's something that's going on in your life that you truly understand I understand that because I've been through those things as well because I asked the universe hey can you you know give me the things that y'all want me to talk about so I can be able to give them at ease to let them know they are not alone so if you're dealing with all these different elements and all that it's just like it, it's already going through with twin flames but I feel like it's going through with hey Oka's as well because these are a lot of things where I said shoot I'm half and half so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out there for everybody because it's like all of us are multi multi gifted so all these different things are going on for a reason so I hope you were able to resonate with content in this video y'all I already said I think I put that in one video cuz I was too tired to do any more videos I only did three videos the other day cuz I was drained but um, let me know if I'm thinking about uh, starting a Facebook 
group just for Hayokas for you to be able to put down different posts like they do if you're you know like if you're on Facebook you would know what I'm talking about they have these group forums like they use different links they allow people to know what's going on with major shifts that's happening uh, you can be able to share your life experience if you're open and comfortable to that um, but just uh, just leave me a comment drop a comment I'm gonna be saying these in every video because not everybody watches every single video I do so I would just place this in there and you just let me know because um, if I get a lot of responses back for that you know that that's when I'll go ahead and do it because I did that last time and nobody really participated so you know it's already enough going on with me as well with doing one-on-ones and video chats with other people and all these different things plus making videos so I would really love to know if you would you know you would like to participate in that so I will see you on my next video it's already been like 15 minutes long so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short because like it's gonna take three hours just for it to upload so I will go ahead and do my outro on my next video much love to you Pete and be wild